25 new cases of coronavirus have been confirmed in Armenia. The total number has reached 290. 1,440 people have tested negative, and 18 people have already recovered. 36 coronavirus patients have pneumonia. Two of them are critical, Armenian Health Minister Arsen Torosian said earlier. Coronavirus cases have mostly been reported in Yerevan, as well as Armavir, Ararat, and Kotaik provinces, he said during the press conference on Thursday. Defense Minister David Tonoyan, in turn, noted that three servicemen of the Armenian Armed Forces tested positive for coronavirus. According to epidemiological studies, the servicemen were previously isolated, which significantly reduced the risk of further spread of the infection, the minister said. The Armenian government has approved a comprehensive program of measures to combat the impact of coronavirus. Thus, the issue has been divided into three parts. 1. In the event of deformation of consumption in the system, a certain decrease in liquidity is observed, and the government should take some measures to neutralize this problem. 2. A group of people who have lost their jobs amid the coronavirus pandemic, and the government must focus and support them. 3. To ensure the protection of socially vulnerable groups of the population. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has also spoken about the upcoming Karabakh elections to be held on March 31st. According to him, Armenian observers departing for Karabakh should be tested for coronavirus. By the way, Karabakh has confirmed no coronavirus cases in the Republic. Artsakh presidential candidate Masis Maelian has also shared his opinion on the possible postponement of the elections. According to him, being deeply aware of today's challenges that threaten our national security and considering the life of every citizen of our country in absolute value, he will accept the decision to postpone the elections with understanding. A Lebanese Armenian has died of coronavirus in Beirut, Aravelk reported. According to the Lebanese TV company MTV, an hour after the death of the young man, information was circulated that he was infected with coronavirus. The media also noted that the man suffered from other diseases. By the way, there are over 488,000 coronavirus cases confirmed globally. The death toll exceeded 22,000 and over 117,000 people have already recovered. The COVID-19 is affecting 198 countries and territories around the world and one international conveyance. The court hearing in the case involving Armenian ex-president Serge Sarkisian and other officials will not take place today, Sarkisian's lawyer Amram Makinyan told Armenian News News AM. The lawyer has earlier filed a motion asking the judge to postpone the hearing that was set for March 26th. The ex-president is charged for embezzling $1 million.